The Life and Sad Ending of Megan Mullally Megan Mullally was born on November 12, 1958 in Los Angeles, California to Martha and Carter Mullally. She developed an interest in ballet at an early age. She started performing ballet during high school and also went to the School of American Ballet in New York City. She completed her high school at Cassidy School, after which she attended Northwestern University, located in Evanston, Illinois. She studied English literature and art history. Megan Mullally moved to Los Angeles in 1985, where she initially appeared in commercials. She landed her first significant television role in the series The Ellen Burstyn Show. The show was canceled after 13 episodes. Over the next years, she was seen in supporting roles in several shows, such as Ned and Stacy, Mad About You, Caroline in the City, and Just Shoot Me. She also played minor roles in many films, such as Last Resort, 1986, Blue Velvet, 1986, and Queen's Logic, 1991. Her scenes in Blue Velvet didn't make it to the final cut. She gained prominence in 1998 after portraying one of the main roles in the American comedy series Will and Grace. The show was a huge success, and it earned Mullally several nominations at the Emmy Awards. She won the award twice in 2000 and 2006. She was also nominated for multiple Golden Globes. The show aired from 1998 to 2006. It was restarted in 2017. Mullally played a supporting role in the 2002 American comedy film Stealing Harvard, directed by Bruce McCullough. The film is about a man who has to resort to crime to pay for his niece's tuition fees. Other actors in the film include Jason Lee, Tom Green, Leslie Mann, Dennis Farina, and Richard Jenkins. Meanwhile, Mullally was also seen in several films, such as Rebound, 2005, and Fame, 2009. She also started her own talk show titled The Megan Mullally Show. It aired from 2006 to 2007 and was canceled due to low ratings. In 2008, she started appearing in an important role in the series Children's Hospital, a satirical comedy the show initially came out as a web series, later making its debut on television. The show won four Emmy Awards, along with several other nominations. It starred actors like Rob Corddry, Malin Ackerman, Lake Bell, Aaron Hayes, and Rob Hubble. The show is a success and nominated for multiple Emmys, out of which it won four. She played minor as well as major roles in several TV shows over the next few years. Some of these TV shows were Parks and Recreation, Breaking In, and Axe Cop. She then landed a significant role in the TV series You, Me, and the Apocalypse. She was also seen in several films, such as The Kings of Summer, 2013, where she played a supporting role. Why Him, a 2016 American comedy film, is one of her important works in her movie career. The film is about a father who tries to stop his daughter's wedding with a millionaire. It was a huge commercial success, grossing more than twice its budget. Along with Mullally, other actors in the film were James Franco, Brian Cranston, and Zoe Dutch. In 2017, she starred in four movies, namely Lemon, Infinity Baby, The Disaster Artist, and Oh Lucy. Two years later, she was cast in Where'd You Go, Bernadette? Mullally is part of a band named Supreme Music Program. As of 2020, the band has released three albums, namely The Sweetheart Break-In, Big as a Berry, and Free Again. In her personal life, Mullally's first marriage in the mid-1990s was to talent agent Michael Catcher. Mullally met the actor and future husband Nick Offerman in 2000 while acting in The Berlin Circle, a play production by the Evidence Room Theatre Company, and they married three years later in 2003. While they were dating, Offerman appeared in a guest role on Will and Grace in a 2001 Thanksgiving episode. Offerman appeared again in a different role in the season 9, 2018, episode Friends and Lover. The couple has also appeared together in films such as The Kings of Summer, and Smashed, the television series Parks and Recreation, and also performed voice work together in Bob's Burgers and Hotel Transylvania 2. Probably right now is her worst time, when her health is slowly deteriorating. Thank you for listening to the story about the life of Megan Mullally. Like and comment on your opinion in the comments section below.